Here's an easy way to run a more complex set of instructions inside of a Docker container. First, we're going to need a script to run. This one's going to be fairly straightforward. As you can see, I'm running a simple shell script. It's been set as an executable file, and I'm echoing out the host name that is detected by the environment variable, which is pretty common amongst Linux distributions. And if you can see, if I run it right now, it echoes out my local host. In Docker, we're going to execute a run command as opposed to an exec, which I would use for an already running container in the specify ID. I'm going to hit run-it, which is interactive TTY. I'm going to remove it for simplicity's sake and convenience on my end, which will also help demonstrate why this is reproducible across multiple containers. And then I'm going to go ahead and bind the volume of my current working directory, as I've shown previously, to a path where I know it will be parked. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it what base image, and go ahead and tell it the path to the script inside of the container. You can see it responds with the container ID as the host name. If I run it a couple of times, because I'm using dash dash rm to remove the container on completion, it keeps creating a new instance every time and responding with the new host name. 